Hello knowledge seekers, this is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. We are discussing here different pipeline and piping processes. Here is a common subject of interest which is bolt torquing, bolt tightening and the bolt tensioning. We will know one by one. The first video to start with, why sequential bolt tightening is important? What is bolt torquing? How to tighten the bolt? We'll go one by one. Let us start. Bolt tightening sequence, why it matters? There are many different things that determine whether a new flange connection will be secure and leak free. One of the most important is the bolt tightening sequence. To a new bolting apprentice, this may seem straightforward enough. But simply applying full torque to your first bolt, then moving to the second, then to the third is a wrong approach. The order in which you tighten the bolts and the load applied has a huge effect on the integrity of the joint. To complete a flange joint securely, it is essential to control the stress variations in the flange joint components. In the case of the gasket, this needs to be compressed evenly across the flange face. If you were to tighten a adjacent bolts when these opposite remain loose, the result will be uneven compression and possible damage to the gaskets and also even the flange. The flanges must be brought together slowly and be parallel. In practice, this means starting by using the correct bolt tightening pattern at partial load and then carrying out several more bolt passes, increasing the load each time. The ASME means American Society of Mechanical Engineers, PCC 1 2019 standard is the go-to document for bolting standard. This gives multiple options for tightening sequences which is followed correctly will help to ensure a leak-free flange joint. Showing all patterns for each flange size could be covered in great detail in a separate article. Some examples are described below. Legacy pattern and modified legacy bolting pattern. These two types of pattern we'll be discussing here. Before they are tightened, bolts can be numbered sequentially, one, two, three, four, etc. Or they can be numbered by the order of tightening. I will show you in the figures. Both methods have their advantages, but it is important that before starting the job, we should be agree with one of this marking and that the tightening crews are suitably trained and they are not confused with the numbering system. This is the first option, legacy numbering sequence. In the following example, bolt numbering can be carried out easily clockwise, one, two, three, four, but the technician who does the tightening need to be experienced enough to follow the correct sequence. Let's say one, then seven, then after seven, it should be four, and then it will be 10. And the alternative legacy numbering is the picture at the right. The numbering should be done by the technician with the relevant experience. The crew members who is tightening then simply follow the right numbering sequence. In the first option, the numbering should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 simply in the clockwise direction. And in the second system, the numbering should be in the order of tightening. So 1 and 2 in the second option, it should be in the opposite quadrant, 1 at the top and then 2 will be in the bottom. If 3 is in the right and 4 will be in the left. Easily understandable if you follow this picture over here. For the bigger diameter flanges, groups of bolts tighten at a time. Let's say on 48 bolt flanges, the process can be different. Here groups of four adjacent bolts can be treated as one bolt, resulting in 12 groups. For example, if you refer the picture, tighten the bolt one, two, three, four before moving the group seven. Similar procedure or what you do when tightening a 12 bolt flange. Ask me advice that potential gasket damage or flange misalignment should be considered when bolts are grouped. And the table at the right with the picture, you can see the group one is 
we need to tight one two three four four bolts uh, at a time then we'll go for five six seven eight which is in the opposite quadrant and then nine ten eleven twelve there are twelve groups for 48 bolts four bolts in each group and then the group sequence will be as follows one group number one then group number seven group number four then group number 10 this way 12 group sequence is the same as a 12 bolt sequence so here you need to consider four bolts as one bolt to have an easier understanding alternative assembly pattern there are lot of alternative assembly patterns discussed in international standard also you need to follow your client standards and then you need to develop a common procedure the, the procedure should not confuse your technicians and that's why a pre-job toolbox meeting or a kick-off meeting is required to have the same understanding between the management quality department as well as the workers to avoid any kind of mistakes refer to ask me pcc1 2019 for the diagrams alternative assembly pattern one modified legacy uses the same pattern as the legacy method but allows fewer passes and less overall effort this is achieved because not every bolt goes through the different torque load amounts alternative assembly pattern two quadrant pattern simpler to follow as legacy pattern the pattern follows a square quadrant sequence is used on flanges with 16 bolt and more the advantage of this is after four bolts are completed it is always the next loose bolt in any given quadrant that will always be the next to be tightened alternative assembly pattern three that is circular pattern using this method the same four bolts in a cross formation are tightened to bring the joint into alignment following the bolts are tightened using a circular pattern if you refer to the pictures i am showing it is self-explanatory you can stop the slide to understand it better alternative assembly pattern four simultaneous multi-bolt pattern four tools allows four tools to be used always maintaining even spacing around the flange brings parallel closer in less time than using a single tool in a cross pattern multiple bolt tightening work based on large flanges where hydraulic tools are connected to a common pressure source Alternating assembly pattern 5, simultaneous multi-bolt tightening with circular pattern. Here, two tools are being used, hydraulic tools, used in chemical industry for thin flanges and soft gaskets. So that's all for our demonstration of importance of following sequential bolt tightening. This was a good information, I believe, for you guys. Be with me with the whole series and to feel me more inspired, Please don't forget to hit the like button, share my channel to your friends who likes this type of videos and information. Thanks a lot. Signing off, Showman.